This presentation will introduce you to our neighborhood and central Portland. You don't have to memorize this information. The maps that I show you are located in each guest room, and paper copies that you can take with you when you go out are available in the cabinet in the front hall. So, let's get started. Our first map shows you our neighborhood to the south, to the left as you go out the front door. The lion in the rose is at the top. If you follow the path indicated by the dotted line, you can walk to the Max Light Rail stop in 12 minutes. The light rail will take you to the convention center and downtown for free. You take the blue or red line downtown, and you take the blue or red line back to the Lloyd Center Northeast 11th Avenue stop. But when you return from downtown, you don't take the yellow line marked Expo Center. That takes you to North Portland. So when you come back from downtown, be patriotic. Focus on red or blue. All the places in blue are places you can eat. The ones with darker borders are the ones our guests seem to like the best. Milo's City Cafe is our favorite. We also really enjoy the Newport Seafood Grill, but any of the restaurants are fine. Nearby shops and services are indicated in yellow. Chief among them is the Lloyd Center Mall, built around an indoor ice skating rink. There is a 10-screen cinema outside the mall, and there are eight more screens in the mall at the food court level. Our next map shows you our neighborhood to the north. Everything that's easy to walk to if you go out our front door and turn to your right. This is the Irvington Historic Neighborhood filled with big houses with gardens and trees. It's great to walk or drive in. We've drawn one possible path in blue, but the path is really irrelevant. You can go anywhere you like. Also, there's a great Italian ice cream store just five blocks north on Northeast 15th Avenue. Next, I'd like to tell you about how Portland is set up. There's a river that runs through the center of town, the Willamette. It divides the east side from the west side. There's a street that bisects the town named Burnside. It divides the north side from the south side. So every address is north, south, east, or west of an imaginary point in the middle of the Burnside Bridge. This is shown by the quadrant indicators that appear in front of every address. The numbered avenues run north and south, like the river, starting with first avenues near the river and going up in number in both directions as they go out. So, for example, the Lion and the Rose is located at 1810 Northeast 15th Avenue. This means that we're 15 blocks east of the river and 18 blocks north of Burnside. And this numbering scheme is consistent for hundreds of blocks. Now I would like to explain to you how to get around central Portland. The Lion and the Rose is located at the upper right. The Lloyd Center Max Light Rail stop is shown below it. The area surrounded by the yellow line is the free zone, known as Fairless Square. The Max Light Rail is shown in orange. The Light Rail goes through the Rose Quarter with the Convention Center, Coliseum, and Rose Garden Arena. It crosses the Steel Bridge, turns south, and goes through Old Town Chinatown, which has a beautiful classical Chinese garden. The light rail continues south and goes under the Burnside Bridge where for most of the year on Saturday and Sunday is the Saturday Market with crafts vendors, music and food. The light rail continues south and goes by Waterfront Park where there are often activities. It turns west and goes through Pioneer Square, the center of downtown, with the Visitors Bureau. It continues west and goes in a tunnel under Washington Park, a 5,000 acre in-city park. There's a stop in the tunnel, you take an elevator up 200 feet. It leaves you by the zoo and the Vietnam Memorial, which is really quite interesting. And you can take a bus to the Rose Garden and the Japanese Garden, the two most famous gardens. North of Pioneer Square is Powell's Books, the largest independent bookseller in the U.S., with a block-sized three-story main store. North of Powell's is the Pearl District. This is an old warehouse district where nobody wanted to go, but in recent years the warehouses have been converted to lofts, galleries, shops, condominiums, and offices, so now it is where many people want to live. West of the Pearl District is Knob Hill and Northwest 23rd Avenue. Starting at Burnside Street and going north for 20 blocks are shops, restaurants, cafes, and galleries in a beautiful tree-lined residential neighborhood. There is additional shops and restaurants on Northwest 21st Avenue. Our map also has instructions on how to drive to the Piddock Mansion and the Rose Garden. Along the east side of the river, there is a walk from the Steel Bridge down to the Science Museum where there's an Omnimax Theater. 
and there's also a street named Hawthorne. Out at about Southeast 35th and Hawthorne are more shops and restaurants. This isn't all of Portland, it's just the central part, but it gives you a sense of what is available. Our final map is a blow-up of downtown. The MAX light rail is shown in blue. The maroon arrows represent the second light rail system, the Portland streetcar. This can take you north to the Pearl District and Northwest 23rd or south to the Arts District, Portland State University, and the new South Waterfront neighborhood. There are also call-outs for the two Jake restaurants, Jake's Crawfish and Jake's Grill. These are two McCormick and Schmick restaurants that are quite popular. Much of what we've covered here is summarized in two additional maps. These offer city tours. The first takes you to the Chinese Garden, the Pearl District, Powell's Books, and Pioneer Square. The second goes from Pioneer Square and takes you to Washington Park, Northwest 23rd, the Pearl District, and back to Pioneer Square. You can combine these for a fairly complete day of touring Portland. Remember, these maps can be found in each guest room, and paper copies that you can take with you are available in the front hall in the glass cabinet. Now go out and discover Portland. Thanks for watching.